final warning. Okay, Ginger Pants. You can just stop there. She's spunky and stylish, she's deadly with a blade, and she has a tail. Her name is Kit Ballard, and her game is Blade Kitten. Well, actually, I think Ballard is her married name. I'm pretty sure she was born Kit Assurance. And on a totally unrelated note, uh, her sister's name is Erin. Developed by the studio that brought us Ty the Tasmanian Tiger and the Wii version of Star Wars The Force Unleashed, Blade Kitten is a lively little action platformer based on the comic series of the same name. The game follows Kit, a sort of human-feline hybrid, during her bounty hunting adventures on the alien planetoid Hollow Wish. She's on the trail of the, uh, <laughs> the evidently bleached blonde villain Tara Lee when Blade Kitten picks up the story. Now, I only mention Tara's alleged hair bleaching because Kit seems to think it's important enough to insult her over, and that's one of the things about Blade Kitten that, well, it makes it unique. It's got all the attitude, spunk, and humor of a 13-year-old girl passing notes between algebra and health class. Too slow, sunshine. Give it up, Ballad. You're playing in the wrong end of the pool. What, the toddler's waiting pool? Very Combine cool. that adolescent Ta -ta. spunkiness with its anime stylings, and you've got a game and character that really feel best suited for high school girls. You are so going to regret this. But I mean, like, she is totally platforming. Speaking of the platforming, uh, and the gameplay itself, it's at least decent. Blade Kitten's level designs have that open feeling reminiscent of the old Sonic the Hedgehog games. Uh, that is to say, you can take Kit in a variety of directions, not really sure where you're going, and somehow still end up at the end of the level. They may be linear, but the game's levels at least create the illusion of freedom with their many hidden passages and secret rooms. And in that regard, Blade Kitten actually requires a little bit of exploration as well. Fortunately, exploring the game's levels is a smooth experience. Given her cat-like genetics, Kit moves through the levels with inhuman speed and agility. She's capable of climbing across the ceiling, crawling up walls, perching on even the thinnest platforms. Her maneuverability certainly matches her design, and at least controlling Kit makes Blade Kitten feel fun and unique. Where the milk saucer goes empty, however, nice. are the circumstances in which you control Kit. Uh, for starters, the platforming sometimes feels a bit boring relative to the character's abilities. At times, it's, it's almost like any platform character could have been thrown into yes. Blade Kitten and made it through. The level designs just don't capitalize quite enough on the character's unique maneuverability. While the platforming does shine on occasion, the same can't be said for the combat. Kit simply throws her floating sword around like a boomerang, and while it's a cool concept, it only materializes in the most basic of button-hammering action platforming. I mean, it's not that she's a bad fighter or anything, she's just a bit predictable. There are a few genuinely interesting ideas at work in Blade Kitten, but you'll have to play through some pretty standard ones to get to them. And even then, you get them in unrealized forms. With more emphasis on cat-like platforming and wall crawling, and maybe less on stale enemy combat, Blade Kitten might have been a spunky, anime-inspired gem. But as it is, this blade feels a bit dull. Hey there, little buddy. Don't be scared. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to get those sausages. You've eaten them already, haven't you? 